Dr. Kim Song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get this right. Dr. Kim Song. Mm. Song Hae. Hae. Yeah. Song Hae is continued. Yeah. yeah. Song Hae. Song Hae. Yeah. Song Hae. Cho. Cho. Yeah. yeah. And the church is Yoido. Yo full gospel. Full gospel church. church. Yeah. And it's the biggest church in, in the world. Yes. Now, uh, tell me, um, uh, uh, 40, m my statistics that I research um, said 40% of the population in Korea is Christian or more now. Not 40. Uh, one fourth. One, one fourth. One fourth. Yeah, one fourth. Of the population mm -hmm. in Korea hmm? is Christian. Yeah, 4분의 1. 30 percent? Yeah, but she said 30 percent. 30 percent. Yeah. But, but let's go back to the beginning because before you started your ministry, 30 percent of, of, of Korea was not Christian. 30%? 30% was not Christian. No, no. No, no, no. What, now what? it's 30%. Now. Uh, but at the beginning time, yes. Uh, maybe, I don't know, less than 10%? Yeah. Uh, not Christian at the time before the, um, 1958. Then is not many Christian. Yes. Yes, in 1958. Now, I, I want to find out. Um, when did the Lord um, call call you the very first time? Oh yeah. Yes. My family is a Christian family. Yes. You can call, but they they are only uh, attending church member. Yes. Just go and come and go and church. Not uh, really Christian. Yes. But uh, uh, my mother, as uh, she is a businesswoman, and uh, she failed her business, and yes. then then she uh, won't to live anymore. And her mother and her daughter, she's my elder sister, died in the same month. So very difficult time for her. And she uh, received the gospel, and she became a uh, Bible school student. So your your mom became a Bible school student. Yes. And and how old were you then? Uh, Fifty years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and then so when did the Lord call you? For me. For you. Yes. To uh, become a, a Christian. Yes. Oh, when I was uh, uh, 13 years old. 13. S 13 years old. Yes. So uh, at the time, I prayed to God, I don't know you are alive or not. I just attend the service. So uh, I cannot uh, uh, feel you are living God. So please show me you are living God or not. Without that, I uh, leave from the church. I don't attend anymore because there's a waste of time until the, when I uh, uh, die. Then maybe 60 or 70 years old. Then maybe more than 50 years, I attend the church and come back and attend and come. There's a lot of waste time. Yes. I will or not. <laughs> yes, yes. So last th time, this Friday evening service, this is my last day to attend the church. So I said to bye bye God. Then I pray to say the bye bye. Then God pour me the grace, and then tear, and then I repent of my sin. Then I lift the Holy Spirit and I speak another tongues. Then, wow, God is living God. Yes. Wow. Yes. 
So at that moment, I became a Christian and entirely different person. Yes. Then yes. even that is a more than 50 years ago, but I feel that the timing, still I feel that I can feel that too. This Amen. is because Holy Spirit came to me and I received. That's why that I'm thrilled too. <laughs> <laughs> and then when um, your, your mother and um, then the man that you were going to marry mm -hmm. were in um, Bible school together? Yes, same time they are uh, uh, entrance exam together. Yes. Yes, then is uh, they are same classmate. They study together, and then they know each other, and then good uh, fellowships. Then my mother call him, "You are my son," and uh, my husband. At the time, he is not my husband. <laughs> he he called my mother mom, and they are a good relationship. And later, they graded at the same time and the pioneer the church, 10th church together. So do you think that your mother knew that you were supposed to marry um, uh, your husband? Mm, yeah, they prayed all the time. This is a nice uh, prayer in the Bible school because my mother is staying in the dormitory and uh, he uh, stayed in the dormitory. So all they together study and pray and study. And one day, they received the revelation from God. And you know, they said, I don't know, because they uh, sit down over there, to my mother, and then my husband over there. And then same time, she is your mother-in-law. And then uh, my mother heard the voice, he is your son-in-law. They are surprised that how come? Because I am at the time I am only fifteen years old. Oh. How come oh. <laughs> become uh, uh, Mary? Because I'm so tiny, girl. You, you're you tiny. Yeah. You're, you're still tiny. <laughs> yes, I'm still <laughs> tiny. But uh, I'm uh, a little, you know that. But it is so skinny. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, now your your um you were, your mom. Um, was a very strong woman of prayer. Yes. <laughs> and um, the, the, the whole world yeah. knows um, your family yeah. uh, and your husband um, yeah. now. And tell me about um, your, your mom's... Um, um, you know, how God used her to begin this amazing mm -hmm. prayer movement mm -hmm. that took the world. Yes. Uh, after he failed all her business and he became a uh, Bible school student, graduate, and uh, worked together with my husband. And then she uh, had a very uh, good point to become an uh, evangelism because uh, she was very sick. Mm. So she went to the uh, cemetery and pray. And then uh, several months she prayed that and she uh, doesn't know what kind of disease. At the time we were so poor, we cannot go to hospital easily. Mm. So she went to the uh, cemetery and pray and pray, and God heal her, her sick. Then uh, she have a power from the God. Then many people followed my mother's uh, place. Then that place become a prayer mountain later. Oh yeah. yes, and and um, and prayer mountain is, a, is actually a mountain. Mountain. And a cemetery. And a cemetery. Yeah. And and is the prayer there yes. twenty four hours a day? Yes. Yeah. And how yeah. how does that happen? 
Yes. Mm. So when she, she uh, sick and pray over there, and God heal her, the sickness, and many people went there and pray and pray. Then is no place to stay. At the time, my mother stayed the uh, God, uh, uh, God, uh, God uh, I don't know, God, uh, for the cemetery has one man to stay and take care of the, uh, the cemetery, yes. that house. Mm -hmm. So my mother stayed there. And then later, we, uh, we are, uh, the church is built a uh, dormitory and churches and grotto, you know, the grotto yes. is uh, the some kind of that uh, uh, the, uh, make uh, one person pray. Yes. Then each one, we have a more than 100 grotto, pray, pray place. Then only one person or two person can pray like that. So then now it's a 5,000 uh, century. So it's a big uh, prayer month now. Yes. So many people uh, came here and then visit our church and visit the uh, prayer mountain. The prayer mountain name is Che Jashil Prayer Mountain. My husband called uh, my mother's name in the prayer mountain too. And when you were um, 15, mm -hmm. um, uh, your husband began to become your teacher, your tutor? Yes. Could, when, could you tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my husband and baby, so we have a uh, uh, Korean War. Yes. So we cannot stay in the Seoul because uh, North Korea invaded us. We escaped in the s south part in the Chinhe area, it is in Davis place. So we stayed there. And then uh, uh, I came to uh, Seoul again, and then uh, the country is not good train for the educate. But uh, my husband studied the English a lot, and she, he speak English very well, and uh, math too. But uh, I'm not because I'm a uh, musician. I want to become a musician. So all the times I practice piano, not study well for the English and math. So <laughs> he became my tutor, and he teaches me every day for the um, math and the English. So he's my teacher too. He's your teacher in yeah. English. English and math. Oh yes, and uh, but tutor. in but not piano. <laughs> the piano. No. <laughs> and and so you started in the ministry, um, accompanying mm -hmm. uh, in piano. Church. In church. Uh, from the beginning of the 10th church, at the time we have no uh, any instrument. So one missionary uh, lent me the accordion. So I played accordion. <laughs> and especially we have a, uh, a funeral. I played the accordion for the funeral and the mountain and the buried the church members and I play the accordion. So accordion, but uh, we don't have the organ, but the uh, American uh, army brought the organ, small organ is, uh, you know, the, you know yes, like that. Yes, is. Yes. So I play that. At the time, I start the organist for the church until the I married. So almost uh, six years I became a organist in the church too. And I read in your book that mm. um, your your husband gave you, a, was it a watch? Yes. And, and this tell is us a, about that. That's uh -huh. so interesting. Uh, one day he gave me a watch. This is an engagement watch. So we don't have any engagement ceremony, just giving the watch without anybody, just me. <laughs> Without my parents, this is uh, my uh, engagement the watch. And so I received it. Oh, is it? What is the engagement? <laughs> <laughs> and did you say anything? No, I don't. I don't say anything. <laughs> I did, didn't give anything. Just received it. Oh, is the engagement watch? 
That's it. <laughs> and and then you married. Yes. And could you tell us a little bit about your husband? Uh, my husband is a. Uh, uh, was very sick for the tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, uh -huh. yes. And then after the, he healed from God, and when he prayed to God, Oh God, you heal me, then all my life I can tell the people that you are healer, and you are the God, and, and I work for, the, for you all my life. She prayed like that, and he received the healing, and he really became a minister. But he's very thin and skinny, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> me too. I, I'm sick too. When I was a uh, uh, University student time, I'm a tuberculosis too. Oh. Yeah. And I took a medicine the pass and I did, school gave me free, but I cannot uh, take that because it's too hot, my stomach. So I prayed to God, oh, God, he is my husband for the tuberculosis, please me too. Then when I graduated the university, God killed me country, uh, entirely. And no more tuberculosis. And these days, I took an uh, x ray, then the upper part is uh, some kind of scar, but uh, not tuberculosis, a scar. Scar doesn't disappear, didn't uh, uh, disappear. So, no more tuberculosis, but we can have a, a provi pro probable province, I don't know. Yeah, like a. Like evidence. A uh, evidence. So. Evidence. Mm, evidence. Yeah. The Lord healed you. Yeah. This, uh, when I uh, have an x ray, then, oh, this is God healed. That is the point. Then evidence. So I can feel that God is present too. I can uh, remember that too. I, I read in your book where you said that when you started in the, in the tent church. Yes that you um, were the first member? Yes. <laughs> I and my two brothers and my mother and one of the old women, uh, she escaped the rain. They, then when five members start church. Five? Yes. And, and, um, and my husband is preaching the, uh, in front of the five members. And I read in your book where you said your husband was preaching very loud to five people. Ah, yeah, at the, time, <laughs> at the time, not five, but anyway, uh, more than five. Yeah. He preached so strong, but uh, he is not uh, wealthy, very weak. Even he healed from God for the tuberculosis, but not, not uh, healthy, skinny. And the shout and shout so. At the time, I didn't say that, I didn't call him the honey. So I said, uh, I said, assistant, not before the pastor, we send the assistants. Mm -hmm. Assistant Joe, don't shout. I can hear when you speak. Then, no. In my mind, 2,000 people in front of me. So I shouted and preached the gospel to the 2,000 congregations. So, oh, 2,000, maybe 200, but it is enough, enough, which I said to him too. <laughs> <laughs> and then shortly after, yeah. um, there were 2,000. Oh, yes, 2,000, 5,000, when we married ended 8,000. 8,000 right after that? Mm, no, either. Uh, six years later, 8,000. Seven, uh, seven years. I started church in the six years. So, yeah. Six years later, 8,000 people. And that's a miracle. Yeah. We moved the church from the 10th church to the Sodemon area. 
and then the same eight thousand. And and do you feel, Mrs. Cho, or could you share the power of prayer mm -hmm. in agreement with the declaration of your faith? Mm -hmm. How how does that work together for people who don't understand? Because uh, after all, we are so poor. We don't even to eat. For me, too, we don't have enough food. Only corn powder, make a soup. That's it. So, uh, my husband preached the gospel that God is of God want to blessing you, and he preached the gospel God's blessing, and God uh, help you. So he preached like that is a hope. Then is many people came and very poor and the disappointment and the failed all the business and the all kids is hungry. That the time is very poor family. Only poor family came to our church. Rich family, we, they go another church, big <laughs> good church, and. The Good building church, yeah. but in our church is a very poor family. So and then they received the uh, Holy Spirit and they believe in Jesus Christ and they can hope and God bless them in the little by little and they become a rich. They can have a good family and all family receive the Jesus Christ and they saved. And then, little by little by, they are good uh, uh, conditions for the economics and many kinds of, and then many healing. They have experienced the healing power from God. Then is uh, they preach the gospel because without any experience, they cannot say, "Oh, believe that Jesus Christ is good for you." This is not good. God gave me a blessing. What? healing and the prosper and the health, many kinds of they experience then they are preaching gospel to them. Then is a revival is growing and growing like that. And the power of prayer. Yes. Can you tell me about that. Yeah. Without power they cannot. With prayer, all night prayer, early prayer, continue prayers, then uh, cell leader, bring the all cell members and pray together. Especially cell leader looks like a pastor. Yes. Because she usually, she is a leader and then all not, then all oh, this family has a problem like that, husband problem, problem, and this family has a, a children problem and something like that, and pray and pray, and uh, together, say a little, together prayer. Then it's they are received the God answer, and another received the answer, and answer. Then she became a cell leader, and she became a cell leader, and cell separate with the, you know, the cell, yes. cell system, yes. divide and divide. Yes. Mm. And then, and then um, the the prayer um, movement, really, um, because I was born again in um, 1985, mm. and um, so um, the prayer movement, the first prayer movement I ever heard of after I came out of Hollywood and I got saved was from Korea. And it went all over the world. Mm. And you started from the tent. Yes, 58, 1958, we started church because we have no money. So only uh, money, my mother uh, failed the business, but uh, he had a, a little money to buy the tent, an army tent. So we put in the army tent, and the land is somebody else's. Uh, who is well known, my mother. So 
she gave my mother is a land and put that then it's tent is a, some kind of hole. We can see the through sky through the tent. <laughs> then the raining come then it's, the water is, fell down and fell down. So we can put in the basket you know, over there and over there and the rainy then the, 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 you know the the sound come and we sing together. <laughs> <laughs> Sings a gospel song like that, and the walrus uh, looks like a timpani. <laughs> you can't read that. <laughs> but now you have a big orchestra. Yeah, we have a, a four orchestra. Yeah. And uh, more than 10 choir. And here in the Yoido church, but we have another church, is more than 20 in the Seoul area, another uh, church too over there. Then, Maybe more than 50 choir, maybe. Mm. And do you run all the choirs, Mrs. Cho? Or you taught the people to do that and then you left, let them do mm. it? Or? Uh, I just watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, my work is a uh, uh, university. This is uh, my, my main job. Yes, yeah. T tell me about that, your uh. university. Uh, 1980, uh, I became a professor. So until more than um, almost 30 years as a piano teacher. So still I'm teaching. Uh, almost uh, eight years after the president, but I'm teaching to five hours a week. So newspaper said uh, even she is a president, but she teaching in the five hours a week. The uh, newspaper says so they, they like that. I'm like to teaching the piano lesson and piano technique. It's my pleasure. And then the uh, newspaper interview me about that. You are teaching the piano. You have a lot of stress, isn't it? So, so. No, when I teaching, I, uh, my stress has gone <laughs> <laughs> with pleasure. I pre uh, teaching the piano, then I'm so happy to my students together. I felt I am became a young. <laughs> so many people said, uh, you are young because you stay with the student together. So yes, I am stay with my students and teaching, and uh, sometimes we have a lunch together, or sometimes uh, you go out one night with my students, empty. You know the empty? Yes, yeah, yes. We are there with my students together, and then it's my pleasure. So no stress, yeah. <laughs> and so now, um, with you being the, the, the co-pastor with your husband, is that right, co-pastor? Mm, I don't know the co-pastor, but I am a pastor that and the uh, revival meeting I usually go, go to the, around the country, especially Asian, like that. So when I was uh, uh, young, I'm a pastor wife and then uh, become a pastor not uh, many years. Maybe uh, 2001, I became a pastor. So in a short time, less than 10 years. So when I was preaching the gospel, sometimes it's a seminar for the pastors. And I said, you are uh, older than me. You are, I'm younger than you as a pastor. Then uh, they laugh and laugh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I read in your book, um, uh, how long have you and and your husband been married? Uh, Forty-four years. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Forty-four years. Yes. And Mrs. Cho, um, what do you feel in your heart about what is going on in the world right now um, with Christians, uh, the, the evangelism, what do you feel, uh, you know? What do you see? 
Um, you mean that the difficulties? Uh, this time is a uh, uh, economic crisis. That is a very everywhere is a very uh, difficult point. Our church member too, but you know that this strange thing happened because it's a Christ uh, economic crisis at the time. Many people attend the church mm. and pray a lot. Mm. And this day, this week is a prayer month, a special prayer month, uh, prayer meeting. Uh, every morning, so all the uh, prayer service in the five o'clock. Usually we have a early prayer meeting, but the special prayer for the economic crisis. And uh, we have a prayer for the uh, North Korea too. These days we uh, built the North Korea hospital too. Only our church do that uh, these times. So we have uh, many kinds of things happen. So we pray. We do pray God solve our problems. So this is, uh, we pray like that too. Do you, do you sense in your heart um, that there will be in our time, you know, before we go to heaven, even though, you know, it's good to go to heaven. We're happy. We're going. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, man. <laughs> but we want to take as many people, introduce as many people to Jesus as we can. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so do you see in, in America or, or um, um, the moving of the Spirit, or do you think we need more prayer? Because you uh, and, and your family uh, changed a whole country. Mm -hmm. And you continue to pray. Mm -hmm. and, and the world is affected mm -hmm. because of your prayer. Mm -hmm. And people all over, mm -hmm. you know, um, don't even realize, mm -hmm. you know, the power Yes. Yeah. These days, God opened the door to China. So we pray the mission for the uh, China, China open door. So last week, I went to Zheng, uh, uh, Guangzhou yes. in China. Mm. Then the government invited me to go and preach the gospel. Then they said, preach the gospel to China, Chinese. Not Korea in China. Yes. This is out of law. Yes. You only preach the gospel to the Chinese. This is a <laughs> Th that is, that's a that's a, a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so only I preach the gospel to church in the Guangzhou. I surprised that many people say this on the church is very uh, eager to learn and they are good Christian. But I went there, Guangzhou, to church is very good Christian. I'm surprised about it. And then they, I preached the gospel, they said, Amen. And I prayed them to the sick people. They, they healed immediately and many miracles over there. So China opened the door. Many people thought that China is very uh, religious is closed, but no, government want the uh, permit, it's okay. Without permit, that's terrible, but with permit, you can preach the gospel, good, any, anything. So do you, do you believe in your heart that, that the Lord, you know, because you see now, you see this in, in, in the world, you know, you see the world rushing towards, uh, you know, the, the economic crisis. And then, you know, you have the, the world rushing towards the one world government, the one world economy. Um, do you believe in your heart, Mrs. Cho, that if we can gather together and um, bring an understanding, revelation, 
to America and every other country about prayer yes. and power mm -hmm. that we can stop mm -hmm. this and keep the, the nations open mm -hmm. so that we can go in. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Yes. Uh, that is the point is God's miracle. Without that is not good. Not good uh, way too. But uh, with uh, God miracle, then is uh, open the door the, uh, from the country to country. So open door and we can preach the gospel and we work together. That is a miracle with a prayer. God open the door. Open door for me and open door for you and open door any person who want, want to work for the Lord. So this time is uh, all, all world is uh, one world. Yeah. Yeah. One world. So uh, this time is the last day. God opened the door and uh, God pour the Holy Spirit to the person and the minister and uh, lean to the Holy Spirit. We can do. We are just a vessel. God wants me to use it. Then we can go out and uh, uh, we can do the God's commandment, God's order we can do as a vessel of the God. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and, and do you believe that um, um, one of the wonderful things, like you said, y your, your, your people, they, they have a testimony, that mm -hmm. they know Jesus mm -hmm. can heal, mm -hmm. They know Jesus can provide for them. Mm -hmm. He can raise them up from poverty mm -hmm. and, and raise them up from sickness. Mm -hmm. They have a testimony. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that miracles are going to increase in this final time? Mm -hmm. Miracles of physical healing and things like that. Do you believe yes, that? Yeah, yes. Yes, I believe that. Then I can tell the... Uh, Bible school in the Guangzhou, there are 80 students in the studying the Bible school in the, by the permission from government too. So I said to them, you have to that the four kinds of thing. One is a, for, is a teaching. You know the Jesus here in the, to the three year and a half, Jesus did the way. You know that? Three. One is teaching. You may teaching the many neighbors and people is teaching. And second one is preaching. You may preach the gospel and God is your, your savior and you have to that preaching. And the third one is healing. Three things Jesus did way. So I want to one more but wisdom. God wants to give you the wisdom. You Pray that and with wisdom you can do for the Lord. I says to the Bible school student, then when uh, finished the uh, sermon, preaching, teaching, then they said, oh, Mr. Dr. Kim, I remember the one who is uh, preaching, teaching, preaching, and healing. And yeah, they remember all the... <laughs> You know, remember and repeat that. So I'm so proud of it. So I say to the Bible school students too. Then I want to say to the believer, I want to say the leader, the four kind of. First one is the teaching. teaching. Second one is preaching. preaching. And third one is healing. healing. And the fourth one is wisdom. Yes. So we have to do like that. Then it's through that, it's a gospel is spread all the world. This is God gave me the revelation about that. And and do you believe that now mm -hmm. the Lord is going to do a f a quick work mm -hmm. now? Yes. Uh, um, in the nations to make disciples of all peoples. Mm -hmm. So we have the many leaders can do that kind of thing with prayer. Without prayer, there are nothing. With prayer, then Holy Spirit come down and give you the power 
and authority, then we can do. You know, um, Mrs. Cho, um, raising up disciples, like Jesus said, mm -hmm. um, we, our heart is to raise up disciples. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, um, we teach them the... Many comes, yeah. Jesus went yeah. <laughs> teaching, <laughs> preaching, <laughs> healing, and, then, and now new for me, wisdom. Wisdom. The, this I, is my I. I want to know more about that. Wisdom. wisdom. No, yeah. why wisdom? Yeah, because I read the Bible and Solomon uh, prayed it and then worshiped the 1,000. Yes. And then God said to the, uh, Solomon, what are you want? Then is Solomon said, Oh God, wisdom. So he, the Solomon said, I have to govern and control all the, my nation and people by people. I need uh, your wisdom. Please give me the wisdom. Yes. The Solomon prayed to God and God said, You didn't ask the money. You didn't ask the anything. And you ask the wisdom. I will give you that. Uh, Wisdom and the prosperous and the monies and the, the uh, I don't know the the power and something like that. So I said to God, Oh God, please give me the wisdom you gave the Solomon. Please give me the wisdom. Oh. So I prayed that, and then you know the wisdom is very important. Yes. Uh, without wisdom, then opposite of wisdom, what is that? Adult, uh, very poor image, mm -hmm. and then uh, wisdom and not wisdom is entirely different. Yes. So Christian, they have they have to wisdom. Without wisdom, then unbeliever. Oh, he is the very poor image, not wisdom, something like that. But. The, Good Christian has a wisdom. Oh, she is a very wisdom and he is good, very intelligent. And I have to learn from him. I learned from her, something like that. With the wisdom, then can uh, 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 spread the gospel is easy way. And it's good for life too. So wisdom is very important for me. For instance, when I was shopping, yes. without wisdom, I bought this one, this one, this one. When I come back home, oh, I, it's not good shop. Then I, how can I, I'm a poor, uh, I don't know why I did buy then this upset. So even though I was shopping or when I was uh, travel or something like that, and oh, God gave me a wisdom. And many times says, God gave me a wisdom. And I said to my, uh, friends, this time I brought the two friends. I said, this is the wisdom. Is it this? Is it God gave me wisdom. Then, oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. So you need uh, wisdom. It's very important for our life. Maybe in heaven, we don't need the wisdom. But in this world, God uh, gave me the wisdom. Without wisdom, it's a very difficult time to live. So I say that the number four is I number put in the, the wisdom. Wisdom. Yes. Wisdom. And, and also, Mrs. Cho, you, you did the literature mission where you took the books. Tell me about that because that's so important because in America and even anywhere else in the world, um, we um, read, um, I've read um, uh, your husband's book on the fourth dimension which, you know, is so full of faith and um, it's just a life changing. Mm -hmm. And so tell me how that happened. You, you got the literature mission. Tell me how that happened and so what can, you're doing with that. Uh, we, uh, through the prayer, we can have an idea. It's God's idea and thinking and we have purpose. And the main thing is uh, uh, for that uh, God's way, not body, we, uh, human way. So we have uh, uh, imagination and the thinking and the everything is uh, uh, for the high level. 
and then especially speaks in a not negative way and a positive way. And thinking is not negative way and a positive way. And the frustration is negative, isn't it? So we can have a, we can do, we can think, we can do, we can do. So God gave him a power that we can do. So no negative way, positive way. Since God made this way, then uh, through our imagination, through our thinking, God bless us many ways. And then the Lord, um, I read in your book where the Lord um, spoke to you to build this church for this man. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, when we, second church is a uh, Sodeman, then it packed the members. We don't have a place anymore to sit down. Then God gave my husband to vision and dream. You move to Yoido. The Yoido is an island. There is only the uh, uh, navy. The navy. I don't know the air, airplane. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Um, uh, air force. Uh, air force. Yeah, yeah. Only air force. Mm -hmm. There are no uh, road and no air. air, air uh, only small, but not. Electric, uh, electricity, electricity, yeah. and waters. No. Then we. <coughs> Excuse me. It's okay. So, my husband have a vision, and we moved to Yoido, and many elders. No way, no way. It's far from here. Maybe more than twenty minutes by car, and then our church members so poor. They don't have any car, and there are no bus, no train at all, no subway. But God gave me, gave he, uh, my husband to do, and the, later we moved over there. Then we came many parking lot over there near the Han River. Now it's become the biggest church in the world because without we moved, then no re, uh, revival. So. Open your mouth, I will feel it, you know, that the uh, Bible. Then it's, we open mouth to the biggest church. Then it's God feel the members over there. So uh, when you pray, then when we pray, then we open my mouth. Then God filled my mouth. This is uh, God gave us in the vision and dream too. And then also... You have uh, orphanage, orphanages. Mm -hmm. The Lord laid on your heart. Uh, uh, more than ten years in the uh, first of the service, the uh, New Year, God uh, spoke to me. Then take care of the orphanage and all these women. So then is uh, several times uh, the orphanage asked me to. Uh, accept the offerings is done so also. No, I, I am so busy, I cannot do that. And then they ask me to build a church, so please offering for the building the church and you, you receive the offerings. So first time I refused, then second time I refused, third time God said, this is I said to you in the first service in the new year this is uh, i want to do i want you to do that so okay i accept them and i the uh, donate and the offering to the the church he owned the orphanage then and then now is a uh, 30 uh, orphanage boys and girls now 30 30 not my church, this is I, myself, and the pastor wives together and work together. So it's a good, good job. And when I went there, then it just often just girls and boys and sit down and hug and kiss me. Then, oh, it's very happy. And so I said, they are happy, but me too. 
So this is God gave me uh, uh, peace and pleasure from God because, oh God, thank you, thank you. You uh, make me opportunity to do for the orphanage. It's a pleasure with me. You know that it's a different, uh, peace, different happy. Uh, just happy and good, but with the uh, orphanage is very uh, happy. This is from God's uh, peace. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad. So I gave the, some kind of money and ten dollar and twenty dollars, and they received. The, and then they, please come quickly, please come frequently, frequently, often. You know that they, they ask me to come often. So oh, I'm sorry, but I'll go. And uh, maybe this uh, May and the Children's Day, we go. Our friends and my students and go together, and we have, want to make. Uh, uh, music recital. We are planning oh, to. Oh, for the little children. Yeah. Oh. Because I donate the piano, uh, grand piano, this time. So it is good to recital now. So I'm thinking about that we are program. Now I make the music program. So I'm glad to do that. Now I read in your book that that you, um, the Lord spoke to you to give a seed to this church to build their building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you didn't do it from Yoito church. You did it from your personal money. Yes. Oh, after we married, I gathered and gathered and saved the money and buy the house. And then one day, my husband came to me at the dinner time and the honey, we have to uh, move the Yoido. So we need a ma seed of money for the building the church. So I pray to God and uh, God said, you, uh, house is a seed of money, seed of the church. So I decide my mind, how about you? So I didn't answer because this only I have the house. Then if I uh, gave this house, then what can I do? I'm uh, worried about it. But I pray, and then God told me that this is the seed of the church. So, okay, I'll do that. So, we uh, gave uh, the, our house as a seed of money, seed of church. Then it's Yoido Fulgas Church, is a, this is seed of money, seed of the church. So still I'm, uh, thank God, oh, I decide mind to uh, uh, the offering for the, our house. This is very, uh, I can uh, decide my mind. Without that, it's terrible because my husband, yes, but no, no, I cannot <laughs> do that. Then how come? But God <laughs> <laughs> made me then, Oh, I, uh, I'll do. The, my husband says so. Then it's, uh, I'm very pleased to, to do that now too. <laughs> so, because you you start with um, just faith, mm -hmm. just prayer. Then later. You know, I can let you have this because I didn't have any water. Oh. I didn't touch it. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can have this one. Here we go. Because I'm so uh, thirsty. <laughs> yes. <coughs> because you, you start <coughs> in only faith. Then later, when the Lord says, do this, you have the faith to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you know God started from mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. nothing, very yeah. much prayer. 
you know that God is good God, then if I gave my house, but God will take care of us and take care of our children, why should I worry? Yes. So it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Jo, I just want to ask you one more question. Um, I don't know, you know, there's been so much, um, let's say, written. Mm -hmm. And um, if you feel comfortable answering this question, I, I would like to know. Um, I read in several different places and heard, you know, that your husband said that there was going to be revival in Pensacola, mm -hmm. Florida, which is where we're filming this television program, mm -hmm. even though it'll go all over the world, um, in 1991. Mm -hmm. And um, could you tell us exactly uh, about that? Because, you know, sometimes you read and you're not sure what, what it's about. and. I want to hear from you and and because that is a I didn't receive that uh, uh, from the God I mean my husband said someday oh Pensacola God uh, wants to have a revival in the Pensacola so in, maybe in your future the Holy Spirit move in the Pensacola and the uh, Holy Spirit movement from the Pensacola he says so so he have a revelation from God, but uh, I, I didn't, I didn't revelation. Right, about but, but how uh, come Pensacola? Because uh -huh. you you're in Korea, uh -huh. Pensacola. Why? Uh, I don't know why, but um, God gave my husband to the vision, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he says so, so. Oh, is it? But I didn't know the what's meaning about that. But later, it's Pensacola, it's revived when the Holy Spirit moved to death. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. And we're so um, honored mm. to have you on Miracles today, Mrs. Cho. And yes. I know I've asked you so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we'll look forward to having a very good relationship with you in the future. And yes. thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, thank Amen. you very much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen.